Hi, my name is Kieran Naidu. I'm a CASA and also a strategy consultant, but I'm best known for placing fifth on Survivor South Africa Immunity Island. It's a very bittersweet feeling. Um, Survivor was a lifelong dream for me, so to be on the show and to go as far as I did um, gives me immense pride. But at the same time, to be this close uh, to the end and then get voted out definitely leaves me feeling a bit hollow. I was this close to the win and just couldn't get there. It's a tough one because towards the end of my game, I was seen as an all-rounder and so people were worried about me as a threat because of that. So I probably would have dialed back a bit on the physicality earlier on. From a social perspective, maybe I could have been a bit naughtier. So people, you know, didn't think that I was widely liked by everyone. Um, yeah, that's, that's a bit of what I could have done. I think one of the best moments for me was the first individual immunity challenge where we all had to stand on, I think it was 10 foot poles and whoever could stand the longest would win. And I, I stood on that pole for three and a half hours and eventually won um, and broke a few international records in, in the process. Without a doubt, my worst moment was in the first week of the show where it rained absolutely nonstop and we had no shelter whatsoever. So we had two options, either sit in the rain and feel miserable or sit behind this little ledge and feel slightly less miserable. So that was tough. Facing the natural elements was definitely something I had to adjust to being someone who, who works in corporate Santon. One of the other major learnings I've had through Survivor was just having empathy for people who are less fortunate than myself. Going through Survivor, you really understand what real hunger is and, and real deprivation. And it's not like dieting. It's not as simple as saying, I'm not going to eat breakfast today. It is something that is real and something that sits with you. And it, really takes over your thoughts day in, day out. And knowing that millions of people go through that in this country really leaves me with a sense of empathy and a desire to do more. The great thing about being a CA is a lot of what we do is analyzing a company, analyzing a balance sheet, understanding the position that a company is in. And it's very similar in Survivor. Uh, you always have to understand the game at a point in time and understand what you're seeing around you and what that means for yourself. So being a CA, having done tons of financial analysis and being trained in that rigor really helped me in understanding the game and you know, being an accountant really helps with understanding the numbers and the probabilities that go with it. I have a lot of favorite books, but two that really come to mind were the two I read just before going on to Survivor. One was Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. I think it speaks so, so brilliantly to, to who we are as a diverse country and the people of South Africa. So that really just got me into thinking about our diversity and embracing it on the show. And the second was Malcolm Gladwell's Blink, which is um, you know, great advice on what to do when faced with tons of information and how to make a decision in the heat of the moment without overthinking it. Uh, one of the things I'm most excited for in 2022 is starting a podcast. I've been sitting on an idea for quite some time. It's uh, getting to know people, but through food, Having come through my time on Survivor, obviously food means a lot more to me now. So I've always wanted to, to try my hand at podcasting and finally found the avenue to do so. My, my biggest piece of advice would be um, do not box yourself in. Studying to be a CA is, is studying a way of thinking. It's not studying to be in finance. And so the world really is your oyster. And you know, don't think of yourself in one particular way. There's so many opportunities for our skill set um, and that goes way beyond just finance.